Gwen is back. And let me tell you, you can thank me for not doing a before shot on her nails, okay? And I'm just going to leave it at that. Aviana came downstairs to visit me and I asked her what color I should do on Gwen because Gwen literally will let me do whatever I want on her nails. And of course, Aviana said, Aviana Rose. So that's what I grabbed. Aviana Rose from the Queen Diana 27 limited edition that sold out. Thank you to Sundara Nails. Don't forget, my Halloween line is launching this Saturday at 11 a.m. my time, Eastern time, and 10 a.m. Central time. Don't miss out. There's only a limited amount of sets. They're only being sold as sets, and once they're gone, they're gone. And you are going to love the colors. Look for my video and watch it, okay? Okay, and thank you. We're going to do some wavy lines. I asked her if she had done them and she said no. And I'm like, bet, let's do it. So I'm going to do the Aviana Rose. And I did use a base coat on these two nails. I love the shininess of that base coat. The reason why I use the base coat on this particular powder is because when I seem to do nail art on this, I say powder, but I mean like this acrylic powder, the polish kind of shifts and moves around as I move to the next nail. And so with a base coat, it has like a tacky layer and it kind of helps keep that polish still so I could do multiple nails at the same time, okay? So I'm literally just going to wave these lines around, no particular fashion or order, and I'm just going to let it go how it wants to go. And I plan on going back and adding some white because white just makes these lines these wavy lines they make them pop now i mean when you add white to anything it really does just bring it to life i don't know exactly why and even if i were to add black you know i kind of regret not adding a little bit of black now that i'm talking out loud about it i really should have put a little skinny um tiny line of black in between the white and pink that would have looked really really pretty but i didn't so oh well we're just gonna live with what i did now i'm wondering at this point in the game i know i want to put glitter in there but what do i want to use and i was like yeah silver silver platinum you guys know that reflective silver glitter and the reflective gold glitter and stuff well this silver is on a different level. It has a whole different kind of reflective sparkle to it, and it spreads well. It's a good coverage. So if you guys are looking for a good silver sparkle to add to your collection, I recommend that one. So after a top coat, guys, here's the final look.